Hey, what's going on internet? Joshua Noel from Sunduck Film. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. In this tutorial, we'll be going over how to color correct interview footage in DaVinci Resolve. I would like to start off by saying there's a lot of ways to color correct your footage. However, I believe there are some valuable tips in color correcting interview footage that can be taken from this tutorial. If you want to follow along with this video, you may download this clip in the description. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. This is the look that we'll be going after. So let me go ahead and clean this out and we'll start from scratch. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is balance out my uh, levels. So I'm going to go to here to the left and bring it down just by a little bit. And I'm going to go to gamma and raise that just by a little bit as well. And I'm going to go to gain and raise that by a lot. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and create a new node by going to nodes, add serial node. And in this node, I want to add contrast and saturation. So I'm going to go ahead and increase the contrast maybe to 1.4 and then increase the pivot just by a little bit. And then finally my favorite part, add saturation. And that looks awesome. Not really. So let's go ahead and start balancing out the colors. So we'll go ahead and create a new node. In our new node, I am going to adjust the color wheels by a little bit. I'm going to go to lift and lower to the blue a little bit. And then I'm going to go to gamma and raise it to the, I guess you want to call that purple. <laughs> Just a little bit as well. And finally, I'm not going to touch the gain. So that looks very slight adjustment, but it did make a big deal. And finally, I'm going to create a new node. And this is a lot of fun. We're going to go ahead and go to curves and make sure that gang custom curves is unchecked or all the curves will move every time you adjust uh, one value here. So uncheck and we're going to go ahead and add a point and lower the red just by a little bit. And then add a point up here to the top of the red channel and raise it just by a little bit as well. And finally, since this image looks a little bit too green for my taste, I'm going to go ahead and add a point in the center of the green here and just lower it by a little bit. And, you know, a little before and after. Kind of creates a nice little look for us. And then I'm going to go ahead and create a new node. And in this node, I'm going to click on this blur uh, window here and go to the blur drop down and click sharpen. And I'm going to go ahead and put the sharpen to 0.47 um, and that's under radius. And that makes a big difference. Kind of really makes your image pop and I love it. Now we're in the fun part of the tutorial. What I want to do is make the background darker and fix the skin tones of this shot. So what I'm going to do is going to create a new node. In this node I'm going to go to the mask window and I am going to turn on the circle mask. And then I'm going to position it over his face and we need to go ahead and make it a oval instead of a circle. So kind of put that in there, kind of keep this over the skin tones a little bit. Maybe bring it down, uh, maybe we'll raise it. And then we'll go ahead and increase the feather by bringing out the, I guess you want to call this pink or purple handles. And that looks good. And finally, I need to go ahead and create a mask that uh, is on top of his shirt here. So I'll check the kind of curved mask right here. And that will allow us to create a custom mask. So I'm going to zoom out of this main window here just by scrolling a little too much. And get it right. There we go. So I'm going to start clicking points on his shirt. And just notice I'm not... I'm not masking outside of his shirt, but I'm saying inside of his shirt. Okay, and there we go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go to softness right here, soft one, and I'm going to increase that property. So that will create that nice little blur for us. And that might be a little too much for now, but we'll go back and adjust that a little bit later if we need to. Now that this is all set up for us, uh, we have several things to do. One, we need to track these windows. And secondly, we need to increase, increase the brightness on them. But for the sake of this, let's go ahead and just start tracking these windows. So 
the since we got this mask selected right here to 100 shirt, we're gonna go to the front of this clip, and then I'm gonna go to the tracker window. And all I'm gonna do is hit the forward button, and I'll start tracking forward, and I'll be right back. Okay, and once that is done, we'll click on the other mask on his head and track that forward. Okay, now that is done, uh, let's go ahead and create a new node. All right, in this node, I'm gonna go ahead and make this background completely dark. So I'm gonna go here to gain and lower it. <laughs> really lower it, maybe to 0.64. Okay, so here's the problem. Uh, our subject is now completely dark as well, and that's not what we want to do. So what we'll do is go back to the previous node, and essentially we'll just go ahead and add that gain back in here. So if the gain was at 0.64, so if my math is right, all we got to do is add it to 1.36. So we need to add this to 1.36 to have that original uh, exposure. But the last thing I want to do is I just want to fix up the skin tones just by a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new node. And we're just going to go ahead and use the color wheels. Uh, and I'm just going to bring the gain down to the greens. And maybe put the lift to the blue. And that will kind of adjust the background just by a little bit. And I really do like this. I like this look a lot. And... You know, there's many ways to color correct an image, uh, but the steps in this tutorial, you know, I hope maybe you can take it into consideration for your own work. Okay, guys, that comes to the end of our tutorial. If you were wondering why I was so spot on with these settings, I promise you, I did not have a cheat sheet at all. If this video has been helpful, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try to post original content whenever I can, and also, please check out my Instagram. This is where I post my behind the scenes pictures and also some photography that I do. And lastly, check out my Facebook page. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you soon.